number of things. Number one that to think of is water. You know, water, scientists call it the universal solvent because everything that can dissolve into water will. Minerals, metals, um, old car bodies, you know, Alka-Seltzer. Lots of things will dissolve into water. So you have to keep in mind that water is the medium. Consequently, it will also dissolve some things in there that we might not like such as nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, a few things like that, micronutrients, uh, magnesium, things like that, that that will in turn feed aquatic plants that we may not want. So keep in mind that if there's if aesthetically appealing to you means that you don't want aquatic plants, think about that during the construction phase. Aquatic plants typically grow in the top three feet of the water column in most ponds. Now, there's always exceptions because every pond is a little different. You've got to keep that in mind. So there are things that you can do to move the water, to aerate the water, to help the water cleanse itself. Being the universal solvent, it has a tremendous ability to cleanse itself. The easiest way for it to cleanse itself is to be exposed to sunlight and air. And the best way to do that is to move the water. And the, one of the best ways to do that is to aerate. And there's a number of aeration products. So I would look at aeration. I would even look at uh, microbes. There's some microbes on the market that, that can help break down organic matter that inevitably comes into a pond. Uh, grass clippings, tree leaves, um, fish waste. There's a ton of things that can come into a pond that microbes can help process just like it would at a water treatment plant. Uh, those are the things that come to mind. You know, aesthetically appealing may mean beautiful aquatic plants. You can plant some d different kinds of plants. There's bog plants. There's different lilies that you can buy at the water garden stores and things that, that could fit into that. So uh, be creative and be thoughtful. Keep in mind that water's the medium. Water needs to be kept clean. If you want it to be aesthetically appealing, everything starts with the water. Great advice.